we were hoping that all of our businesses grow forever yeah. and then we can keep showcasing women like you who have shaped the industry that we love very much that everybody's admiring today but you guys don't get the praise mm. that you deserve so we were hoping that we can just um, thank you mm-hmm. and to always remember that you have helped us in a way to share our entrepreneurship journey I remember you, you, like I saw you growing, you know, and it's, it's, you're so independent, beautiful, poised and confident and, and, you know, sometimes I also like, it's not that you had it easy for me, you did it as, you know, young lady with dream, you know, and, and you had each other, it's not easy to do that in this Since the age of 18, right after high school, I was working. So I, I didn't know how to take a course in it. But that time was nice because I, I made the first Tela I employed. She was coming every day to my home and I used to go to like a small corner where we were cutting fabric and trying out things. She connected me to the second Tela and, and then we rented the space somewhere in Gitega in the back of a building and we started. I think the achievement now eight years after we started professionally is uh, a team of 45 people uh, working with me. Uh, I will say that it's including also experience of traveling, representing Rwanda uh, through my creativity and my work. Experience, mm-hmm. it's for me, I take it as an, an achievement because within the last eight years, I really am matured and I'm become an experienced person, I understand better the business and how to run it. Um, I've been married now for nine years, and <laughs> and I have a baby. Uh, okay, he's a, he's a grown up now because she doesn't <laughs> want to be a baby anymore. She's uh, four years old, yeah. and uh, she's she's one of the thing I'm so proud of. This is something which you don't see in in the eye of like as a professional mother, but it's uh, also Part of what I spend a lot of time, uh, you know, nurturing and caring, and I became a mother, and and also it changed your your way of being and the way also you work uh, in your profession. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, of course, and uh, and also to keep. I think I really would love to focus now after so many years to f- push my direction into uh, inspiring people and training, mm-hmm. if possible. Uh, in growing the brand, there were so many little things. I think maybe they are little, but I think that there's so many areas I feel like the brand can also grow. The one coming out of high school, university now, they can also even uh, like go beyond that. They can go, they can surprise us, create use technology. Yeah, use technology, create huge, huge business like we, we could ever, we could never dream of. Mm-hmm. They, they, the sky is the limit. When there is a, somewhere to, to look up to and to prove that it's possible to do, and the kids can then express themselves. Mm-hmm. It's not anymore a weak thing or a crafty thing. Everyone will forget you in the family, nobody care. Now it's the family, career. yeah, now it's a real career. Family can support you, be the first customers. Mm-hmm. And uh, now the support are in all directions. There is anyone who will be in the creative industry and they're very talented and they're not succeeding, it's because they didn't look up to the right people to support them. Now, really, even if the family still maybe on the level to not understand you, the government is ready, the private, ta- private sector is ready. So I feel like, yeah, it's a different place for women, entrepreneurship, young girls. Everyone who really have a dream has the possibility to speak out and to have her voice heard. Nobody is taking your dream now as like craziness or madness or like, come on, seriously, can you find something to do? Let's do it, find one.